We often stay in an addiction or emotion, which are often quite painful to stay in, but we use them as a, as a method of getting away from an even deeper and darker emotion within ourselves. So if you notice yourself doing that, start just recognising what you're doing as an addiction. So it's just, it's just the same kind of principle of, where, of an alcoholic going to alcohol or a person who's feeling sad going to alcohol and a person who's feeling like they want to get away from their life to go to drugs. It's the same kind of feeling except we've just instead of, instead of using alcohol, we've used this other emotional addiction. Does that make sense? This other emotional addiction is the addiction to punishing myself, for example. So I might become addicted to punishing myself, blame and self-blame, because I don't want to feel the underlying emotion, which we obviously believe is worse. Mind you, most of the time it's not actually worse. It's actually worse to feel the addiction for the rest of your life than it is to actually get into the underlying emotion. It's a bit like a person who becomes a drug addict. Drug addict. What's worse, the underlying emotion that causes the drug addiction, if he dealt or she dealt with that, it might only take a week or two weeks of their emotional life to deal with that, and yet they stay a drug addict for 10 years. So which in the end creates more habit? In the end, it's the addictions that often create more habit.